So we have another viewer who wants to talk about a completely different topic. This viewer, we, we actually had this question come up in one of our earlier programs this year, and I think it's worth revisiting. This viewer is concerned about uh, figuring out a way to increase uh, participation in and support for uh, trade schools, or what in my era we would have called a vocational education. That's, you're probably not supposed to say that anymore. But, but mm -hmm. nonetheless, um, uh, trade school education and where that might go. Uh, let's start with you, Representative There's, Hosmer, there's really an understanding from everybody, I think, that that idea uh, that um, for some students that ought to be a track uh, where they can go directly to uh, that tr sort of education and directly to a job. Gene Pulowski takes it a step further and he revisits a model that we used to have where that started already in high school. Now, one of the reasons I think Minsky and others backed away from trades education is it's expensive. It's not like an English classroom where you sit in a, a, a room and, and have a textbook. Here you've got expensive equipment. But what has, has happened in some of these towns that are home to a Minsky institution, or Minnesota State, I guess they've changed their name now, um, is that the business community, because they are desperate for a trained workforce, have started to help with the cost of some of that equipment and uh, helped fund um, some of those uh, classrooms and the equipment they've needed. So we're, we're making progress, but I would say that's a definite understanding and a, and a change. Yeah, we've, we've got jobs that are go, um, going unfilled uh, because folks uh, aren't able to learn the, the skills and the trades that they need to. Like uh, uh, Representative Hausman said, uh, partnering with, uh, with industry, with businesses themselves, and also with labor, Anyone's been to some of the, the labor training centers, they're amazing. I've been to the, uh, um, the, the painting uh, training center, the heavy equipment, um, the building trade center, the um, electrical worker centers. They have some, some phenomenal training and apprenticeship centers as well. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, we've kind of reached a point in our history where there's an understanding that the trades are valuable. Uh, we've seen a lot of retirements out of the trades, so there's a lot of job openings available. Uh, and we need to demonstrate to our students that uh, four-year college is great for some students, but it's not great for everybody. And the trades, uh, you can get a, get a degree much more quickly and get out in the workforce. And if, that, if you like hands-on work, maybe that's the route you should choose. Uh, the partnership with businesses is critical because technology and all these trades is changing so quickly. And you identified the cost there, Alice, and uh, so that partnership with businesses is really beneficial.